Hey everyone, I thought I would share with you today how I feed my horses their NRF2. I have three older horses that are all on it. Um, it's really great for arthritis and things like that and joints. And So I give TC, Patch, and my new horse Bear all NRF2 on their grain once a day. And I'll show you how they eat it up. It's been super windy here all day, so I'm like hiding out in the, I guess, the medical shed. <laughs> it's got all of our supplies, I guess. <laughs> it's, I don't know if you can hear me once I get outside, but anyways, I'll turn the camera around and I'll just show you how I feed TC his NRF2. So I'm just gonna put like one capsule just comes in a bottle like this and they're just hard pills that are all compressed together made out of five herbs so nothing harmful for him so we're gonna go outside see what I mean about the wind I'll wait till he comes and then I always offer it to them over the fence so I can make sure that he'll eat it in the first bite. So you see he got it and you can hear him crunching it. And I give him one extra bite just to make sure it's all in there. Got it. So then I just put his panagrain in his feeder and then he eats the rest of it on his own. Simple as that. But I notice a big difference when my horses are on it as compared to when they're not. I actually had a couple horses tested um, with thermal imaging and they were both um, the same age, both barrel racing, doing exactly the same things. One was on NRF2 and one was not. And TC was the one that was on the NRF2 and his joints tested all green, like no heat. And Patch at the time was not on it and his joints tested all red. So, that just kind of made me feel like I need to keep them on it. So I put Patch on it right away as soon as I found that out. And yeah, so this is Chester. I'm just going to give you a quick update on him too. I've done the antibiotics for him. He's only been on the cow now since we put him with the cow. So he's a little bit skinnier. Probably not getting as much milk. I come in here and I get him up like... I just make sure he gets up and that the cow I gave her some alfalfa here and some grass hay and I make sure she's eating and then I turn him around and get him sucking but I'm not sure that he does this all that great all by himself all the time so I just come in here and make sure and obviously she laid in some dung so I'm gonna see if he will maybe go around the other way once she moves up to her hay or maybe he'll eat off that which is really gross but anyways I guess we'll see here what happens he does drink really well once he's up to her But she does kind of walk away a little bit if she's not eating, so. So sometimes I have to like move the hay over to her so she'll just sit there and eat and then he can drink. Still a bit of work, so. Not 100% sure that this situation's gonna be great. So that's why I haven't let them out yet. I just keep giving her hay in here and making sure he gets up and sucks and then I keep filling up the water. So it's a little bit extra work, but I'm not making any bottles or using any milk powder, so. But 
I did come out here the other day and they were sleeping side by side. So she does look after him. But she also does lift her leg at times too. So she's never kicked him, but she, she just isn't 100% sold on the idea of having a baby here. That's not exactly hers. That's about all I know. We had one new calf this afternoon, born out in the far corner of the field, and the rest are all huddled up kind of by the feed bunks. It's been super windy all day. Uh, I didn't even take the winter blankets off because I'm freezing cold and I have a long sleeve shirt, a hoodie, and a coat on, so none of the horses were sweating, so I left them all blanketed down on my workload tonight. I won't be having to put them all back on. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day. Take care and I will check back again tomorrow.